it's 3.30 in the morning and I just finished a 4K. So I felt like the best approach to getting my 14,000 meters today was to get some before work. And I thought I'll get up and when I get out here, I'll see how much time I've got and estimate how far I can go. And that's what I did. So I've spent the last two minutes stretching. It's exactly just flipped over to 331 and my alarm would be going off already. So good start to the day. Work up a good sweat. Now it's time to shower and get ready for work. I'll talk to you in a few minutes. All right, here we are an hour later. All fresh and clean, clean clothes, smelling nice, hair full of grease. Anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. 4,000 this morning, and then five after work, and then five before dinner. And there's my 14. Tomorrow, 15, I don't know. <laughs> I'll figure out something, some crazy scheme. I did the 10K on the ski yesterday. I, I kind of don't want to do a 10K on the row. Um, my right shoulder's been bothering me more lately when I row, and that's not normal. Um, it's never really bothered me much when I was rowing, but here lately it has. So, I don't know. We'll take it easy as best I can while I get uh, 29,000 meters in two days. <laughs> uh, I've done worse. I'll get over it. Uh, it is a good build-up, though. I, I do appreciate if they've done it on purpose. To, the challenge from last month kind of rolls into this month nicely. And then, beginning of May, which is the beginning of a new rowing season... Um, I'll, uh, I'll shoot for doing another half marathon. Um, eventually, I'd like to try half marathon on the ski. Um, the worst part about that, and this is so weird, and I don't know if it's the neuropathy or my fat ass or just a lack of general endurance. I don't know. Uh, sometimes on the long skis, my legs are kind of wobbly when I'm done. I mean, like, looking drunk, kind of wobbly. So, half marathon on there, hour and 40 minutes or more. That might, that might do my legs in a little bit. So, I don't know. We'll see. Got to have some fun somewhere. And if you enjoy hurting yourself with exercise, I'm your man. <laughs> so, no soda today. I'm holding off for later. I don't want to be having so many sodas. I'll probably have one after work when I get my scratch-offs. And then um, that'll be it for today until I have my post-dinner root beer. Root beer, so they say, is uh, naturally caffeine-free. And it says no caffeine on the bottle, but I, I, from what I understand, all root beers are caffeine-free. So I enjoy a root beer after dinner. No caffeine, sugar free, and uh, yeah, that's kind of my nightly routine. And uh, you know, it sounds weird because you hear all kinds of people saying, oh, artificial sweeteners make you crave more, blah, 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 blah. No, I don't see that, especially for a diabetic. Artificial sweeteners help me enjoy some things that I wouldn't be able to otherwise enjoy. But also, with the root beer after dinner, uh, I guess because it's carbonated, it really kind of fills me up. Of course, I, you know, it's usually within an hour, maybe an hour after dinner, so I, I I'm full anyway. But it kind of helps me uh, stave off some of the late, at late evening uh, snack craving. So, which it's not even. I mean, it's just. It's just mindless eating for me, and I don't, that's part of what gets me in trouble. So, um, yeah. Metamucil seems to be helping with appetite control a little bit. It's certainly helping in other areas that you would expect. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to keep doing it. I got a big, fresh container of it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, I like it. So, anyway, almost to work. 
I'm sure we'll talk again later. All right, work is over and social time is over. I stayed around longer than usual talking today. Um, not really sure why. <laughs> but when I walked out and realized it was 10 minutes to 10, I couldn't believe it. So, um, you know, when you have one or two things you want to tell somebody, but you keep getting interrupted and you still want to get your point across or get your story out or your information across. Ugh. Anyway, uh, that's one of the hard things about being at the gym is sometimes you, uh, you get some things you want to say and you don't get to. People are, people are busy and people are coming and going and interrupting and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, I still have to get my scratchers have to, right? I'm not an addict or anything, but I have to. And yes, I did get a soda. And it's been the highlight of my morning. <laughs> so, um, took me a while to kind of wake up, which is surprising considering the fact that I was up before three. You would think I was already up. I mean, I was, I was awake. And I guess I was up. But I wasn't like, hey, it's me. That may also be a side effect of my greatly reduced caffeine intake, um, which as much as it kind of sucks, I do feel better. Uh, actually, no, I feel worse, but I don't have the issues that the caffeine was causing, which is a good thing. So, um, yeah, my heart issues uh, don't exactly jive with the amount of caffeine that I was taking in, so... Yeah, I, I feel better in that regard. But my chest doesn't hit me with a wallop every now and then. So anyway, <clears throat> home to see the wall. And then I will get uh, 5,000 meters one way or another. Uh, and then I will eat breakfast number two. So when I work, I don't know if I've ever stipulated this or not. Uh, you saw a couple days ago my normal breakfast of the granola, blueberries, yogurt, and pecans. That's my normal breakfast. Well, on days that I work, it's breakfast number two. It's still my regular breakfast, but there's food consumed prior. Uh, because I am up so early, I, I'm, I'm hungry. I need to take my morning insulin, and I don't want to have a whole lot, but I got to have a little something, something. So on work days, I have a protein bar and some cashews. Not a lot, not a lot of carbs, but good protein, good healthy fat. And um, I have just recently switched to roasted unsalted cashews, I'm trying to cut that sodium out. Um, today was actually the end, I think. I have to double check that, but I think today was the end of my salt, my gloriously salted cashews. It's going to be hard to get used to having the unsalted cashews and pecans. But I guess my heart and kidneys will thank me later. Anyway, have zero clue what's for dinner because I didn't plan very well. <laughs> I don't think I have anything thawed. I have to kind of check when I get home. I might have to be Shit, I don't know. I don't. I, I can't. I can't picture. I think I have some chicken in the fridge. I might have to do something with today. So we'll do that. Um, but I most definitely am going to get my five, my breakfast number two, and then a nap. Uh, and then my third and final exercise session of the day will be another five k, one way or another, and uh, and hopefully some weights. Um, today's either push. Or if I feel froggy, uh, legs. Um, legs can actually wait till tomorrow or Sunday if I want to. Um, depending on how I feel after another 10,000 meters today and 15,000 tomorrow. Um, so I'm trying to be, trying to look ahead and judge how I may or may not feel by the end of tomorrow's 15,000 meters um, as to whether or not I feel good about doing my legs, knowing how some days they really uh, do me in. Um, but I feel like I'm on a good run here lately with my workouts, getting my 
a little more consistent, a little more frequent, maybe might be the right word, because it's not incredibly consistent, but more frequent with my uh, resistance training, which is good for my blood sugar. Um, you know, if you know the streak that I'm on, <laughs> the cardio is not an issue. Cardio almost is second nature. It's the resistance training that sometimes falls by the wayside just because of my, usually because of my joint issues. Um, but joint issues be damned, I've been pretty consistent lately with, or frequent with my, uh, with my resistance training. So hopefully get something in there today. Push is the hardest thing for me, um, for my shoulders, but uh, legs is always fun. I could go for like maybe a heavy deadlift session or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, first home and uh, see to Walt and um, we'll go from there. I'll hold off to do my scratchers until uh, after my breakfast.